an iconic landmark dominating a gap in the Purbeck Hills is Corfe Castle. Corfe, incidentally, deriving from a Saxon word meaning to cut or carve. It can be spotted from the approach roads for miles around and attracts many visitors. From the churchyard, it rises above the cottage roofs, but away from crowds and for the more energetic, climb the neighbouring hills for some of the best views. The village now looking somewhat subordinate, crouching beneath the castle walls. A preserved steam railway dares to pass beneath the castle's feet. A branch line from Swanage that used to join the main line at Wareham, part of the National Rail Network, with fast trains from London Waterloo. If you come this way, make sure you are in the front half of the train, otherwise you might be left behind at Bournemouth. By all means, take the slow train to Swanage, surely one of the best ways to arrive and how it used to be done. But photographers more interested in the Purbeck Hills will follow its exhilarating crest to Studland. The views over Poole Harbour are breathtaking. Now that's the Isle of Wight ahead and the Needles, which I will mention in a moment, but we are not going that far. There is a lot of water in between. However, I start the official walk at Swanage, a good spot for a sunrise, incidentally, but our immediate objective is that Ballard Down that takes us over the hill to Old Harry and his wife. Old Harry is a surviving feature of a chalk band that continued across the water to the Isle of Wight. It has been battered continuously by a restless sea, eroding it into caves, arches and finally stacks before collapsing. On Wight, a twin feature, the needles remain. The erosion process continues to this day, and poor Harry and his wife will eventually be lost to a future generation, but hopefully not in our lifetime. More chalk features projecting vertically from the sea include the pinnacles, but take care when peering over the edge, as further excitements await of a different sort. When photographing these stacks, it might be best to spot meter, as it is easy to overexpose the chalk on a brilliant sunny day. It may not seem obvious to the eye, but they require less exposure than the surrounding landscape, even the sea. Spot metering preserves important detail, preventing it from blowing out to a pure white and, if saving to roar, any dark areas can easily be corrected in post-production without affecting highlights. Continue on the southwest coast path, now almost level into Studland. St. Nicholas Church is 12th century and worth a peep inside. The Saxon Norman Tower is huge, that might be more at home on a castle, but its upper stage is incomplete. Studland also has a nudist beach, which several years ago the National Trust acquired. Unfortunately, I did not have time for research, and anyway, its inclusion might infringe YouTube's terms. <laughs> 